Hello everyone. This is going to be the third, I believe, part in my Surviving Mars series, the Inventive India one. Uh, last time, I got most of the way ready for bringing in colonists, but uh, not quite all the way, uh, as I recall, because I haven't put any services in the dome. Uh, we're in the middle of a cold wave, so that is, of course, uh, unhelpful. And it's a particularly long one at uh, basically three sols. So, yeah, that's uh, certainly not helping anything. But uh, cold waves are not as big of a problem as uh, certain other um, events like uh, dust storms because they don't stop uh, solar panels from working. And, well, they do freeze water tanks. They don't stop vaporators from working. Uh, they, uh, they do increase power utilization, though. And they don't stop uh, rockets from launching or landing. So, uh, cold waves are annoying. Uh, but they're not uh, the end of the world, so to speak. They don't particularly cause us uh, trouble. Now, uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, in this part, I'm going to get the remainder of the uh, services I need for the dome uh, built. And then I'm going to call a, uh, a batch of colonists up and get the founder stage underway. Uh, that is going to require uh, getting uh, uh, residences in the dome and services to keep the comfort high because uh, we can uh, short-circuit the founder stage by having a colonist born on Mars, so having a baby born. And that, uh, that can save you five or six sols, uh, uh, because during the founder stage you can't call uh, another passenger rocket from Earth, and that, uh, uh, so you, you need to make sure that uh, at least uh, one colonist survives that founder stage of ten days. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, restart the clock here. I'm running it on fast speed because, uh, well, quite frankly, uh, things happen too slowly otherwise at this stage. Anyway, uh, uh, just taking a look here, there's uh, enough electricity during the day. Uh, I might actually need to, uh, to build uh, some more... Uh, yeah, I need to uh, uh, build some more batteries, I suspect. Uh, as we're dropping it, uh, well, we have enough power for about 10 hours. Uh, which is enough to make it through the night, but I don't think we can charge the battery fast enough. So I'm going to build uh, some more uh, uh, power. Uh, but what uh, I, I'm concerned about is water production. We've got 4.5 water production, and we're demanding 3, so we're probably okay there. Uh, stored uh, oxygen, you were producing 6. We're using 2, so I think we have enough there. Okay, we made it through the night. Yeah, we're only charging at 10, so... I'm going to, uh, whoop, nope, power. Uh, I'm going to build a couple more uh, solar panels. Uh, and I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, so building a couple more solar panels uh, will get more uh, power uh, during the day. And we don't have too much of a problem with, uh, with metals, so... Uh, I'm not overly concerned about building some uh, solar panels. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Huh. Well, that's different. Okay. Uh, so we had a problem with the uh, with the rocket last time, did we? Uh, I don't remember now. Uh, what's this milestone? Produce food. Yeah, we're we're not quite ready on that front yet. Uh, so we've got now uh, 
35 power excess. Uh, that's not really quite enough. Uh, now we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're, so we'll be charging at 35. So we're going to run out of power overnight here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, build a few more of those. I'm going to stash them over here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, the goal here is to uh, have... Uh, uh, enough of these that uh, the batteries charge during the day. Okay, so I think, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 15. So that should give us a substantial uh, daytime boost here. So uh, that's going to increase uh, metal uh, draw. Uh, oh, I... I yeah, because we're out of power, right? So we don't care about life support just at the moment. Uh, as long as the power comes on soon enough that the uh, uh, buildings all start working before they freeze. Uh, so now we've got 105 power per hour. So we should be, or 110, I guess. So we should be... Uh, we should be able to charge. Now, the reason we need so much power is because of the cold wave. Uh, right. Uh, now, I want to check on the science. Uh, right, so, uh, robotics, explorer AI, no, automated, battery. Okay, we're, we've got the drone hub tech queued. Uh, right. Uh, probes can deep scan. Uh, oh, yeah, we're researching Project Mohol. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Apartments aren't as useful as you might think. Uh, water reclamation spires can be, but they take uh, colonists. Uh, right. Okay, so what I really want is uh, is the tech that allows uh, uh, Rover AI uh, so that it can um, so that they can go and harvest the uh, surface metals and so on automatically. Uh, right, so automated storage is nice; it's bigger storages, but uh, we don't need those just yet. Uh, better battery capacity on drones is good. Uh, the polymer factory is definitely good, but we need uh, bigger water infrastructure before we do that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what was this one? Drone hubs no longer... Re oh, right, that's... Uh, uh, right, okay. Uh, this one is probably going to be useful, so I'll queue it up. Uh, okay, so we've got that queued up. Now, uh, what I should do is uh, come out here and see where we've got a big... Uh, now, I have transport, yep. So, uh, a big source of uh, surface metals... Uh, where's the biggest one? 22, 21, 56, 45, 52, 81, huh? So over here. Uh, so I'm going to grab the uh, transport and I'm going to do an automatic uh, trade route thingy here. Or transport route. And... I'm going to get uh, as much of this uh, surface deposits here in the uh, range as I can. And I'm going to 
load anything that's there and I'm going to unload it here right so that'll go and make multiple trips to collect everything so that'll get our uh, metal total uh, replenished a bit uh, now uh, the cold wave is going to be done in the next sol so that's uh, that's handy now the uh, thing I need to do here is build my dome infrastructure so uh, the first thing I'm going to need is uh, somewhere for the uh, colonists no to live so I'm going to use the living complex uh, I'll uh, put it uh, the, each one of these gives us uh, a number of uh, colonist slots uh, and then I'm going to also uh, build a nursery because I want children to uh, grow. Now we need uh, uh, some dome services. Uh, so I'm going to build a, uh, well, I'm going to build, uh, well, we definitely need a, uh, a grocer. So you know, I'm going to put that there. Uh, right and I'm going to want an infirmary uh, right and now we need things that will increase comfort so uh, I'm going to uh, put uh, I'm gonna put statues in there uh, right uh, and uh, right okay so uh, we've got uh, uh, stuff here that's uh, uh, needing repairs uh, right okay so uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm gonna send this rocket home and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to uh, get a cargo rocket with uh, 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 some, uh, some uh, electronics and a couple of uh, uh, bits of uh, machine parts uh, because I definitely need to uh, make sure not to run out of either of those and I think uh, I'll grab another one of those. Yep. And since I have space, I'll grab, uh, or, or the cash, I'll grab just a bit more, or maybe some extra food. Um, you know. I'm going to do that uh, so that'll buy me a little extra time before I have to have uh, farms working uh, right so we'll launch that okay now uh, when the other rocket gets to to earth and we can uh, call in uh, uh, colonists now uh, I'm gonna slow the clock down now uh, Uh, now over here in the services no we're good there uh, we need something like a space bar or a diner I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a diner uh, right uh, so that should give a pretty uh, solid uh, uh, bit of uh, operation there. Now I'm going to also uh, go over here under uh, food and I'm gonna build a regular old farm. Uh, right. 
Now, the reason I'm building a regular old farm is because they seem to be about the best early on. Uh, so uh, by the time all of these buildings uh, finish getting built, uh, it should be uh, it should be about time to, uh, to uh, call in a passenger rocket, and then we can see what's uh, what's doing there. Now I don't have a food storage, so I'm going to need one of those. Uh, right. So no storage. Uh, depot food and I'm going to put that by the dome okay now that means the food that comes with the colonists and from the uh, supply rocket that's coming uh, will have somewhere to go now uh, this gives us uh, 40 comfort for visitors okay so we have those uh, this gives uh, uh, service comfort. Uh, right. Yep, okay. Uh, okay. I might need a second uh, grocer. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, I can uh, build that, uh, you know, right a right away here. Uh, the diner also uh, uh, counts as a food source. So, uh, right. Uh, and this here handles fourteen uh, residents. So, uh, I'll probably end up needing a second one of those pretty quickly, but not during the founder stage. Uh, this, uh, oh, okay, so it needs metal, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put a, uh, a depot uh, for metals uh, over here, and I'm going to set it to keep five there, so that should allow for uh, for repairs. Now I'm going to up the uh, the clock again, uh, and that sh uh, should uh, bring uh, some metals over there, and that should allow this to get repaired. Uh, I think I should also uh, drop a uh, drone hub over there. Uh, right. So, if I uh, drop a drone hub over here, uh, that should allow for uh, better operations as well. Okay. There we go. Uh, what's it doing? Is it... Oh! It's going over there to collect some metals. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, so the uh, stuff here is fixed. Now let's take a look. Uh, power storage is full. Uh, stored water is not, because that uh, builds up slowly. Uh, right. Um, and oxygen is full. So we're, we're drawing 1.7 oxygen. Okay. Uh, yeah. So far, so good. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty sure we've got a basically functional uh, colony operating here. So that's good. And now we've got our rocket has arrived with the supplies. So we'll land that, of course, on the launch pad, of course. There we go. There's the rocket down. And our other rocket has made it to Earth. So, I think it's time to uh, bring in some colonists. Now, what I want is... Uh, what I want is younger uh, colonists that are... Uh, that have the... Um, what is it? Uh, uh, 
Uh, which trait is it? Uh, well, none of those. Okay, so let's go in the filter here. Uh, perks. Uh, I want the sexy trait. Uh, just because uh, they will uh, be more likely to have kids. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, apply that. Now. Okay, yep. Yeah, that should have all of them. So, we have a female and a female and a female and a male and a female and a female. Um, okay, so what do we get if we filter on age and we say no to middle aged uh, apply back no uh, okay Okay, I think going with uh, the younger colonists, that'll give us longer before we start getting uh, old age die-offs. Uh, and they'll be more likely to be able to have uh, kids. Um, what I don't want is... Uh, Melancholic. Uh, hmm. Uh, what I want to do is uh, also uh, uh, where is it? Don't want the gluttons because they eat more food. Uh. Yeah, okay. And take off the alcoholics as well. Okay. Apply. Now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to probably go with this batch. Uh, there's a few geolog geologists, um, botanists, a couple botanists that'll probably help with the farm. Uh, I know that those of you that uh, that play the game a lot, you know, and do the min maxing thing, are probably screaming at your screen, going, "You're picking the wrong colonist. Pick them manually." But uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to. It's my game. You can't make me. Well, yeah, uh, obviously you can't. Uh, okay, so we have colonists on the way. We have somewhere for them to live. We have some spots for them to work. And then once they get here, uh, I'm not sure uh, exactly uh, what I'm going to do do here uh, okay so why does it say there's only one food oh because the uh, uh, the buildings are loaded up right uh, good uh, I need to get uh, I need to get something online for uh, income uh, soon here uh, I'm pretty much on my own now since I uh, don't have any funding. Uh, right. Uh, once Mohole is uh, uh, finished, uh, I'll I'll work on building up the uh, uh, the resources needed. Uh, let's see, wonders. 
Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, no. No, we don't have it uh, uh, listed here yet. Uh, right, okay. Well, okay, so I guess I can't remember what the project mohole requires. I just remember it's a lot of resources. So, yeah, uh, I'll need to get uh, production up online uh, ASAP. Um, oh, look, we had a uh, meteor uh, come in. Ooh, brought some metals with it. Uh, good for it. Uh, okay, so our uh, colonists are just about here. So land the rocket. Uh, right. Uh, so we have colonists on Mars. Uh, I'm going to uh, down tempo things. Um, so we have to go and look at this. Uh, uh, Ten sols. Uh, we need to uh, have our colonists here, and then uh, then we need to uh, have a uh, a child born. Uh, now let's take a look here. Uh, Right. So, uh, our uh, farm here, uh, wheat is probably about the best uh, best crop uh, to have uh, operating here. So, uh, it will, it, in two sols, uh, it will uh, produce food. So, uh, that will uh, definitely be uh, beneficial. Uh, now, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, that one's full. That one is not. Uh, this is full. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. I think that will produce enough, uh, 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 resources there that nobody starves uh, assuming that it actually works now uh, we are burning more water than we're uh, producing now do I have I do have uh, more uh, vaporators so I will uh, uh, bring uh, a couple of those uh, online uh, and that's going to require power uh, power cable uh, so uh, do this uh, and uh, this okay it's also going to require pipes and uh, that's under life support uh, right, where is, there's pipes, uh, and we'll do that, and this, uh, okay, so that should get us, uh, uh pipes, uh, or get us enough water online, yep, and, uh, we have enough oxygen coming in, the farm is reducing some of the demand on the dome, uh, and it looks like we have enough power. So, uh, with when all these things come online here, uh, we should be good. So let's up the tempo and uh, get everything uh, built. Uh, right. So now uh, we're producing more water. Now we have an upgrade here. Uh, I'm going to upgrade all of the vaporators with the hygroscopic coating. Uh, and that will uh, just increase the uh, water production. Now, 
Uh, over here, uh, I want to take a look at uh, the uh, comfort. The comfort is going up. Uh, but uh, not particularly fast, so yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to uh, need to do is uh, call in another uh, colony, uh, another colony ship as soon as I can. Uh, right. So I'm going to, while I'm waiting, I'm going to build one more uh, living complex because I'm going to need it uh, for the next uh, rocket load. Now, you... Okay, so that rocket is uh, just about refueled. So I'll send a rocket back to Earth as soon as it's ready. Uh... Right, so now I've got lots of extra water coming in, so it'll fill up, fill up the tanks nice and quickly. Uh, right, uh, now, uh, yeah, I, I still have a relatively low science output. I could uh, obviously uh, build a research lab, but I don't have the uh, resources to staff one just yet, so... Uh, there's not much point in doing that if you don't have the resources. So, uh, what's this? Polymers. Okay. Uh, idle extractors. Uh, okay. Building with depleted deposit. Well, in that case, I can just... Uh, Uh, is there any reason to keep it? No, there isn't. So we'll demolish it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so that gets us uh, a couple of resources back. Now we have a split power grid, so let's... Um, uh, Put a uh, power cable in here. Uh, like so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we got a dust storm coming, so that's inconvenient. Uh, we found a anomaly, so uh, where's our explorer? Uh, we'll go and scan that. Yeah, that's the only one we've got kicking about there. Uh, right, so let's uh, add some scanning to the queue. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to build a ramp to get up here uh, at some point. Not just yet. There's this whole area here. What's this? Oh, okay. Uh, right. So we're uh, eight sols into the uh, founder stage. How's this doing? Comfort is 52. Uh, we don't have enough social. Uh, how's this doing? Uh, so we're going to get basically 10 food out of that. Uh, right. Uh, you know what? Uh, if I close uh, these work spots... Uh, and I, uh, so did that, uh, how did that do the, uh, what? Hmm. 
No. I need to close the work spot there. And uh, if I close those work spots, uh, what do we get here? Uh, okay, that's uh, operating. Okay, that's full now. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, doing that uh, might help a bit. Now, uh, okay, maybe that's uh, that's helping. Uh, did we? Uh, we don't actually have a crop come in yet. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so let's uh, up the uh, tempo here on the time and uh, let things uh, play out for a bit here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I really needed a few more colonists to make this work. So, yeah, uh, obviously uh, I planned things uh, less good. Less good, you say? Yeah, less good. Uh, anyway, once the, uh, the uh, founder stage passes, uh, there will be... Uh, more potential stuff to do. Okay, so crowdfunding. Uh, okay, that's kind of good. And planetary survey. So let's look. Crowdfunding is a one-time grant of uh, a thousand uh, on uh, funding. Well, that's going into the queue right away here. Uh, that's going to the top of the queue, actually. And then Mohole can come after that. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to call that the end of the part. Uh, we have time left on the... Uh, founder stage and obviously we have comfort issues in the dome uh, what I'm going to do actually before ending the part is I'm going to turn off the farm because we're good for a little bit and uh, open up the diner and these uh, slots uh, that should uh, potentially uh, help the comfort level and then maybe the uh, founder stage can end a little bit earlier um, right uh, so this is uh, yeah that's increasing the comfort quite a bit uh, and then uh, I'll need to get the uh, it once the founder stage has passed then I'll need to get the uh, the farm uh, going again uh, I am, however, going to launch the rocket. Really? Uh, several colonists. What? Well, we'll do that. And, uh, okay, so I'll... Uh, I'll let that finish, and then uh, okay. Now launch. Don't. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to uh, stop here, and uh, uh, next time around, the founder stage will end. I'll get uh, another load of colonists to the colony, and then things will start to stabilize. 
while I get uh, something online for income. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, uh, the, the next uh, episode should be up in a couple of days on Thursday, I believe. Anyway, uh, that's all. Uh, see you next time.